Hello, and welcome back to the JB Media Institute video blog. This is Sarah Benoit, your lead instructor, and today I want to talk about the question, does social media affect your Google rankings and authority? And essentially, this is a pretty rich question because there have been a lot of different answers over the years, and there's been a lot of debates and studies about this topic. So today, you might notice I'm looking down at my notes, but it's because I want to refer to some specific sources as we discuss this question. And hopefully by the end of this blog, you'll have a pretty clear idea on the impact that social media is having on your search engine optimization. So first, let's talk a little bit about what Google says about this issue. So in 2010, there was a great interview that Google and Bing both did with Danny Sullivan of Search Engine Land. And in that interview, Google indicated that there were certain types of social media activity that definitely affected your rankings in the algorithm. <clears throat> And essentially, Bing also agreed that those same things affected their algorithm, but overall, Google was still pretty nebulous about exactly how, and it simply confirmed very basic things, like if a link is shared within Facebook or retweeted or tweeted within Twitter, that their algorithm is able to recognize this. Then, a few years later in 2014, Matt Cutts released a video where he explicitly stated that social media is not part of the ranking factors that affect your authority and where you're showing up on the search engine. So in that video, he basically clearly states um, exactly that. Um, he does admit that Facebook and Twitter pages and other types of social media pages can be crawled and therefore indexed, and so they show up in the search engine results, but that the actual activity, engagement, or the authority of different people who are sharing different links on social media sites, that all of that is not really directly related or affecting your search engine rankings. And essentially, he goes on in that video to explain in some detail why uh, Google especially does not use those things as ranking factors. And I think it's really interesting because some of the reasons they don't are very logical. So one of the first reasons that he explains is that Google can crawl pages for a finite amount of time or a limited amount of time. And so essentially, social media is moving so quickly and the content and updates are changing so fast that essentially there would be a lot of potential accuracy issues in the results if they were trying to utilize what is constantly moving and changing almost every minute on social media as a ranking factor. So essentially what he's saying there is the things that are part of our core ranking factors are things that we know are going to be consistent and that when our algorithm is crawling, they're going to get really accurate information when they apply that to the search engine results. The next thing that he basically talks about is that essentially Google can't really crawl every single site on the internet. It can crawl whatever websites are giving it access. And so essentially he talks about how at different times, different social media sites have blocked Google from crawling different areas of their site. And so essentially what that creates is a big lack of consistency on exactly what Google can see in Facebook or Twitter or Pinterest or Instagram. And so again, he talks about how the engineers at Google who you know adapt the algorithm and work on it all the time, essentially wouldn't want to spend time adding in ranking factors that Google can be cut off from down the road. So like I said, this makes perfect sense from a Google perspective that this is their conclusion. And essentially, you know, what they decided was because we have little control over things like Facebook and we're not really able to clearly evaluate the quality of different things, then we don't want social media activity like engagement and shares and so forth to be part of our core ranking factors. Although I will say we do know that on some level there is um, a relationship between these things, but we're going to talk about what that relationship is in just a second. So in addition to what Google says about this particular issue, I also want to talk about a few of the studies that are out there. So there's been a number of studies by small and large companies of all kinds in the digital marketing space where they are proving or disproving the effect that social media has on Google search engines. Um, results. And so essentially, you know, what we find is that 
you know, we get this very broad kind of look at things. Some people are taking very small samplings and looking at social media accounts that do not have huge numbers attached to them. Others are only looking at social media accounts that have thousands and thousands of followers and already have a lot of brand recognition. And so there's a lot of different variables going into these studies that I think affect what the conclusions are. And because of that, what we have is a lot of data that doesn't quite solidly prove what we needed to prove. And that's because every time those variables affect what the conclusions are, and the opinions and the perspectives of the people conducting the study also affects it. So what I want to talk about is the reason that those studies can't really connect what's going on there is because the relationship between social media and search engine optimization results is essentially a, a correlation relationship rather than a causal relationship. So. If you have you know, studied different types of data and um, different types of relationships and you know, dug into a lot of different scientific aspects of uh, digital marketing and, and big data, you find that you know, things can correlate and they can also be causally related. And what that means is sometimes things are, you know, one thing causes another thing, and sometimes two things just happen at the same time. And I think really when it comes to Google, you know, and its relationship to social media, what we see is this correlation. And then people accidentally identify it as causality. So <clears throat> essentially, it sometimes appears like linking to your site from social media or having more shares or having more likes or followers directly affects your search engine rankings or your authority. Um, but overall, what's really happening is that social media interactions correlate with quality, and quality correlates with improved rankings and authority. So this idea was basically put forward by Andy Cristadina from Orbit Media, and I think he really nails it on the head. You know, Google's uh, always said that one of their most important um, focuses as an algorithm is in the quality of the content that they return in their results. And when we're on social media and we get larger followings and we get more links and more shares and more retweets and more pins, what's happening is the quality of our content, the value of it is so strong that we get a better social media reaction. And so if we're creating a lot of great content on our website and sharing it on social media and we have a really great content strategy in place, then we're able to see that a lot of people respond um, to that content. And then, of course, because that same con is be content is being housed on our website, our website is also becoming stronger and performing better in the search engines. So you can see that that relationship is more about two things synchronistically happening because you're taking a more effective, strategic, value-based, um, and relevant approach to your content and to your marketing and to your connections with your audiences rather than you know essentially social media the more you you get links the more you get shares the more you build followers the better you will perform on google so i think it's just important to separate these things out and understand that they are just relating to each other and happening at the same time more than they are actually causing each other now, that being said, I do think that social media actually does affect certain things on a website that are ranking factors. So I want to go over five of those things that I think are really key. Um, one essentially is when you have a great social media account, you are sharing great content, you're getting a lot of attention, people are talking about you. A lot of times you get attention from bloggers and journalists and media influencers and other people out there that are also connecting with your audiences or really find that you have a lot of value in your content. So essentially when those people connect with you on social media, um, mainly through what is more like public or media relations, Essentially, you have the opportunity to build relationships with those people. Oftentimes, they will talk about you on their own blog, on their own website, and link back to you. They might share your infographic on their blog and link back to you. And so those earned quality backlinks 
are a huge part of your Google authority and can really increase your rankings. So there we see that social media can build these relationships that essentially allows you to earn more links and therefore you might see a big increase in you know, the performance that your website is having on Google. You might see an increase in rankings and all of that is because your site's gaining more authority the more earned links that it's um, allowed to have. The next thing that is affected is that essentially website traffic and repeat website traffic are also ranking factors. So when I'm on social media and I'm promoting my content on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and other places and I drive people to the website, once they're on the website, just having them there is meaningful to Google and can potentially help my website perform better and gain authority. If people are coming back to the site more than one time, that also has a huge amount of value and shows Google that people like the site and want to return there. And so those ranking factors are directly affected by social media potentially. And so again, we see this relationship between, you know, the better your social media is performing, the better your website does on Google. Related to this is the average time spent on site. So essentially one of the things that Google is also using as a ranking factor is how long people stay on your site, um, in addition to how many pages they look at. So if you know people are coming from social media and they bounce off the page and they only stay for 20 seconds on average, then that's not going to have as big of an impact on your potential Google authority. But if you're driving great, great traffic, you're driving increased traffic every month, you're getting people who've already visited the website to go there, and then they're staying for two or three minutes and they're reading multiple pages or looking at multiple blogs, essentially, again, we're triggering a really strong ranking factor for Google and potentially our social media can now seem as if it's gaining traction and our website is also gaining traction on Google. The next thing that can also be affected is just simply brand recognition. So social media is a great way for people to really learn more about your company, your culture, your values, your brand. They may see your brand um, around different social media communities. They might hear their friends talking about it. And potentially down the road, these people may be searching for your company, your product, your brand name more and more frequently. When they do that and they search for you, Google takes note of the fact that people are searching for your brand. In addition, as people are recognizing your brand more, searching for your brand more, potentially when they see your brand show up in search results, they're more likely to click on that result. And so that increases the click-through rate of your pages in the search engine results. And the higher your click-through rates are, the better your site will perform on Google and the more rankings and authority you might have. And then finally, social media really encourages all of us as marketers to have real strong, consistent, powerful, functional, and successful content strategies. And it pushes us to really make sure that we are on a regular basis updating our websites and really being thoughtful and intentional about how we update them and you know the kind of content that we add uh, so essentially, social media, because of the human aspect of it, requires us to really think about how we can add content that has value. And the more that we update our websites with really true, useful, quality content, the stronger our website performs in the world of Google. So these are just kind of five main areas where we see social media doesn't necessarily cause an increase in rankings and authority, but what it does do is it triggers us to behave in a way that allows us to perform better with certain ranking factors that are already in place. And when we you know, satisfy those ranking factors, the more that we do it, the more frequently the do it, we do it, the more um, consistently we do it, uh, essentially, the more Google juice we get, or the more you know, attention um, and rewards we get from Google. So, like I said, I wanted to just bring this question to the table. Uh, please make sure you visit the JB Media blog and actually read the corresponding blog that I've written to go with this video. It has a lot of great resources and it'll allow you to dig into all the different sources that I used so that we could properly answer this question. As usual, thanks so much for joining me for our video blog on how social media is affecting your Google rankings and authority. And I look forward to sharing more with you in the future.